Hey everybody, I'm Jordan with PDQ.com and welcome to Write Credentials. Uh, we just decided we're going to kind of do a weekly recap show for everyone. That every Thursday will come out and this is what's new and what's happened. Uh, <clears throat> this is kind of a, a rough draft where we're just trying it out. It's probably going to change a lot over the years. Uh, after this, Jake's going to tell me everything I did wrong. I'll make minor corrections, but not good enough. Then they'll replace me with Lex and it'll be great. But until now, we're going to run for what we got here. And I, I think uh, and just something to keep you uh, what's up in uh, technology is not a bad idea. But the, the biggest news is Patch, Patch Tuesday was this week. A lot of uh, remote vulnerabilities that, that came out from uh, Pwn to Own, which came out the week before. It turns out if you give people financial incentive to break into something and remove the legal risk, they're going to show up and they're going to do a great job. So a lot was broken into. Uh, some of the major ones, uh, Exchange has a pretty big vulnerability. Uh, the patch is out for that one. The, the nice thing about this being a white hat conference is once they found it, they would alert the people that they had been uh, compromised and give them time to fix it before they release it. So the patch goes out uh, before how, how they did it was released. So there's a bad Exchange one, bad enough that the FBI got permission to go in there and remove the web shell for on-prem exchange servers. Uh, just be, They removed the any web shell like that, but they did not patch your system. So still, if you have on-prem exchange, patch that one. It's, if it's bad enough that the FBI is going into your crap, uh, you, definitely, you, you definitely don't want that going around there. Uh, there were quite a few that came in with Windows that all got patched on uh, Patch Tuesday. I mean, nothing, a lot of it was using the uh, RPC server was exploited a lot. There were, I think, seven or eight that were considered critical remote executables that could work against RPC. Uh, so definitely, I, anytime after this one, you definitely want to get that. And then the risk that comes with these, as we saw with Chrome, is someone found one on Chrome on the zero day, but Chrome is open source. So they went in, they put in the fix uh, for their Java 8 for that zero day. And from the time where they announced it, they hadn't done the stable release yet, so it wasn't out in the old products. Someone went in, reverse engineered, and released their information of, hey, here's a zero day. So what was known and actively being fixed, and this is known as the, uh, the patch gap, is just a time with open source between here's the fix to here's to it actually being deployed where people can really take advantage of that one. Uh, so the Chrome, and that one came out about eight or so hours after this was released. So you definitely want to update your Chrome because that's a bad exploit. It shouldn't have been out there before it was patched, but unfortunately, sometimes that's just what happens. So patch that as soon as possible. Uh, as far as PDQ news, whenever it's Patch Tuesday, we don't have any specific theme. We just do Q&A. We answer a lot of questions. It came in first place. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was a, a pity, pity vote, but I'll take it. Pity wins are good enough for me. And uh, other than that, it was pretty quiet. I think people were more focused on, you know, I, th I think there was about 19 critical exploits that had to be patched in just Windows alone. That's not counting Chrome or anything else. Uh, Azure had a couple. So it looked really bad on the surface on this one, but all of these got patched before it got in the wild thanks to the White Hat, uh, White Hat Conference, which that just kind of proves the value right there. Uh, hopefully we'll see you next week in here for Right Credentials. I'm Jordan, PQ.